In this example, I want to create a bell chart with a mean line. First of all, I want the average of my figures in column A. So I'm going to use the average function. Highlight the figures in column A. And this is the average and then standard deviation. Standard deviation. I've also named these two cells, so dev and mean. Now I want to do the normal distribution. We call norm dist. It wants my first figure, which is 49 in cell A2, comma. I'm going to type mean because I've named the cell mean for my average and dev for standard deviation because I've called that dev. Then I'm going to type false, click the tick, and I get my figure. Pull that down, double click that down, and then yeah, that gives me my figures. Now to do the graph, I simply highlight the data, insert graphs, and I'm going to pick um, scatter graph, this one, and there's my graph. I need to change the scale. Um, change the minimum to 48. That's okay. So that's the bell chart. Now I need to add the mean line. So in cell F2, I've got a formula equals D2, which is the average. And in cell F3, I've also got the same thing. In G2, I've got 0, because I want it to start at 0. And then I've got a link to this cell, B11, which just happens to be the highest figure in my list. So it will come up to the top of the bell. Then what I do is I highlight these four figures and copy, Control c click onto my chart, and go up to the paste button and select paste special. Because I've got a chart selected, I get different paste special options. This is the one I want, category X in the first column, click OK, and there's my mean line. Now to do it for USL, upper specification limit, and LSL, it's the same thing. The upper specification limit for this is 59, so 59 twice, 0, the highest figure. Lower specification is 52, 52 twice, 0, highest figure. And then highlight, copy, click onto your chart, paste special, category X, OK. Do it for the lower specification, copy, paste, roll, click on the chart, paste, special, category X, OK. And there you have it. You can get rid of your chart title if you don't want that. Not the whole chart. And that's how you create a bell chart with a mean line and a lower and upper specification line.